Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and Macromolecules. You may also hear the term biomolecules to describe these large molecules. Cells in animals and most living organisms have four main macromolecules that help keep them alive and functioning properly. They are carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. A macromolecule is a large molecule formed when elements and molecules bond together. Elements like hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphate join together to make up a macromolecule. Each macromolecule is unique and made up of many smaller molecules. Up first, carbohydrates. They're composed of three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, in a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio. For example, take a look at glucose. Carbohydrates store energy and provide structural support. Examples of carbohydrates include sugars and starches, and yes, they are nice to eat. Carbohydrates provide quick energy for humans. Most lipids are micromolecules composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Some of them also contain nitrogen and phosphorus. Technically, a lipid is not a macromolecule, but in biochemistry, it is grouped with them. Lipids are fats, waxes, phospholipids, and steroids. Lipids help make cell membranes and are great at storing energy. Proteins are large chains of amino acids. There are 20 amino acids used in your body. Your RNA carries instructions to the ribosome, which instructs the ribosome the correct order of the amino acids. These proteins carry out many jobs in the cell. Your body has hundreds of proteins. Some of them help with communications, other help with transportation. For example, the protein amylase, which is found in your saliva, helps break down food. Collagen is a protein that helps bind your skin together. Nucleic acids are long chains of nucleotides. They are composed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphate. Examples include DNA, which is deoxyribonucleic acid, and RNA, which is ribonucleic acid, Nucleic acids are important because they contain important genetic information and help transfer this hereditary and genetic information. So in summary, macromolecules are large. There are four main macromolecules, lipids, proteins, carbohydrates, and nucleic acids. Thanks for watching and Moving Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.